Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through this month's reading. This is going to be for the month of July, 2022. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Heart of your reading, we have the moon reversed. Even though you've recently, <laughs> um, in some regard of your life, you, you've gone deep. You've really, There's either an attempt to access a deeper part of you or you, no, there was an attempt and it was you. I'm not clear of whether or not you shielded that attempt or allowed someone to access like your, your deeper self. This is in regard to love or there's definitely we're talking about emotions not just psyche here because the queen of cups is here at the bottom of the deck to say that this is about receiving love the 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 love that one craves so either the attempt to access a deeper part of you was born out of a place of a desire to receive deeper love or you called it in probably a little bit of both because you you want to be seen, you want to be known. But the re the reversal has me saying that there's something um, right um, because the 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 initial feeling is even though that attempt was made, there's something still hidden. There's this. Um, shielding so if the moon is shining the light in the darkness you've got like a shadow shield keeping something about your own heart or self concealed or private we have a few cards that have come out two groupings for the challenge I, I think there are two challenges you're, you're experiencing here on the one hand we have the high priestess reversed with the nine of wands reversed despite all your gut is telling you all your inner guidance your intuition your wanting to throw in the towel and give up anyways. It's hard for you to trust your intuition in this subject. Yeah, so you're either your gut is, oh, maybe it's that your gut is telling you to give up on this and you don't trust whether or not that's your, like, um, like, are you projecting your wounds and your fear or is that intuitive guidance? Because this juxtaposition between the moon reversed and the high priestess reversed could be a little bit of like working out the difference between am I reacting out of fear? Is that a, a fear-based instinct? Like a protective mechanism to keep myself from getting hurt? Or is it my spiritual knowingness? That could be the case here. So working that out could be a challenge that you're going through. Much more positive on the other side of the challenge is the Empress Four of Wands. Um in a very literal way. For some of you, this means getting pregnant and getting married. It's like either getting married because of a pregnancy or the vibe of, oh, this is someone who wants something very serious and down the line, they want kids, they want marriage, they want the whole package. And or you want that. Remember, everything that comes into your life is a mirror for you somehow, some way. So 
So if this is showing up and you're perceiving it to be only in your external world, this moon reversed might be you unwilling to see that that is reflecting something within you. Show me Scorpio's focus. The Two of Pentacles reversed. I can only take on so much at a time. I kind of have my hands full. I am feeling the vibe of just oh, like, uh, if it feels too much to carry, I, I can't even touch it. It's like hot potato energy, like, uh, get it. It's too much for me, it's too, it's too hot to handle. I need to just drop it. And that kind of feels like the Nine of Wands reversed. Like uh, my instinct right now is I can't hold this. I can't keep it aloft. I can't, I don't have the, the energy to maintain this thing. Something feels off about it and that's what you're trying to discern. Is it coming from within you? I think it's both. It's a little bit of both. Show me the recent past. I feel like you and another person are triggering one another. Show me the recent past. What led up to this for Scorpio? The truth, clarity, the Ace of Swords, it, it could be a yes. And we have the lovers reversed at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there, there's this strong vibe of this being about a choice in love. There's, there's like this boiling beneath the surface energy of like vibrant, passionate desire and you keeping a lid on it and this shield over anyone else being able to see that that exists within you. This could just be as simple as you realizing like, oh, shit, this is how I feel. Or the other per person said something first and spoke their truth. And so you are having to kind of reconcile how you fit into all of this now that that truth is out there. Show me how is spirit supporting Scorpio through this. The Three of Wands reversed. Let go of expectations. Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, this is pretty beautiful energy because the Three of Wands reversed says everything is going to happen in divine timing. You don't know when it's going to show up, so don't stress about it. You don't know how it's going to show up, so don't stress about it. The Nine of Cups, though, says, and especially in the reverse, I'm getting it in this context, that your greatest wish can come true. You might not recognize the way that it appears when it arrives. So there's, there's some impetus here to not remain in an expectant state for a specific outcome. Like don't hit pause on anything in your life to allow, uh, to allow external factors to unfold toward you because then you kind of, you're an important player in this chapter of your life and if you make yourself inert um that's that's not the best it it, it won't oh uh, how to say this right it won't yield the most ideal result so what spirit wants from you in this situation and the way like your inner guidance is going to be prompting you and part of like the, the soul growth that you're meant to or have the opportunity or potential to experience 
through this series of events is to not make yourself uh don't take yourself out of the story in an effort to either abdicate responsibility for like um being an active participant in the way things unfold or it could be much less um conscious than that because the moon in reverse is like very subconscious drives it's like the the id it's the part of us that that we don't even know is compelling us forward you might have this kind of very deep subconscious instinct to to wait for something to unfold like oh i find myself here where i think the thing i want is going to be let me just I'll just wait. I'll just see what happens. Let me just observe and kick back and whatever unfolds will tell me how to behave next. There's a little bit of like um, a turnaround that that spirit is nudging you to experience or see. It has to come from with you, within you though. So the, the nudges you get from spirit are going to be very subtle. Which is why this high priestess is reversed. It's it's going to be a little like, was that was that a, a nudge from spirit? Was that my intuition? I'm going to pull one more for you because I feel like there's a little bit... There's a little bit more to that. Three of Wands reversed. Spirit tell the world. Yeah, okay. Because there's a big upgrade available to you. You may feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders, like these sorts of um, stories, this, this series of events you're going through, this sort of thing, this sort of storyline in your life, you're experiencing it as a very big deal. That it's going to mean a whole new chapter in your life. You're sensing this, and that's kind of why you're taking it so seriously. I think you're right. I think it is a big deal. That doesn't change the fact of anything else we've discussed. It's like, yes, you're right. It is a big deal. Yes, things are going to change. You're going to kind of evolve as a character in your own story. And spirit really wants you to actively do that to yourself. as opposed to letting the unfolding external circumstances do it to you. I hope that makes sense. It feels very distinct to me. In the near future, we have the Five of Cups reversed. Whatever you have been, whatever part of your life you've been fixated on that you miss a lot. It's this tender space within you that meant so much to you. It's probably the part of you that you're shielding because it's, it's tender. It could be a wound that you've been working, you've been nursing, you've been working on healing. But it's been this kind of untouchable part of you. I don't want, this isn't something for anyone else. This is only for me. You're going to resolve that in, to a large degree. The reversal of the Five of Cups tells us that you're going to shift your focus from what you wish you still had that's gone now to what you do have in your life and focusing on how to nourish and grow that and allow it to nourish you. 
show me surprise energy. What is going to impact a situation that Scorpio doesn't see coming? Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're going to stop needing something that you've needed from someone else for a long time. You think that this... It's been... They're, they're giving me cozy. I, I don't know how that fits. It, um, the word co like the word cozy in that you feel like, oh, this is a nice little cozy arrangement. Um, let me try. I feel coziness by the vibe they're giving me. That might not be the word that you would use. Um, like this is comfortable. This is uh, uh, familiar. Um, this is something I can trust. It's a nice little arrangement that works for me and it feels cozy. But you've been receiving something from someone else in a way that they're hap they've been happy to give. And you've needed what they're giving you. The surprise is going to be that you don't need it anymore. I don't think that the realization that you don't need it anymore is going to be triggered by them no longer giving, although that could be the case. I feel much more likely that you are going to instigate the, the stoppage of whatever they've been giving you. It could be financial support. It could be emotional support. It could be just spending time together. It should be, it could be like a physical relationship there's some need that's been met. And the way I'm picking up on it is very much that they are meeting a need of yours. Or they, they have been. And you're no longer going to need that from them. It, As with all these general, reading, general readings, it is entirely possible that I'm picking up on someone else's energy. And they are no longer going to be needing something from you. Show me, I mean, that might even be the truth that someone recently spoke into existence, that this Ace of Swords in your recent past. Because this all feels very present at the same time. This might not even be, you might not even be experiencing this as like past, present, future, and ne like near future, far future. You might already kind of be experiencing all of this at the same time, and this is just a snapshot of spirit reflecting back to you what you're going through at the moment. Show me hopes and fears. The Hermit. Um, most likely, you're afraid of being truly seen either by someone coming too close or by someone backing up and viewing you from afar. I think you feel like it's almost inevitable that someone is going to see a deeper part of you. It's also possible that what you're more concerned about is that in order for someone to heal, they're going to need to withdraw. I'm picking up on that. If that is going to, if that's a possibility for your situation, I'm picking up on a temporary withdrawal, not a permanent break. The Three of Swords in reverse matches that energy. The Five of Cups in reverse. The whole, like, the way you've been feeling. It's almost like you're you're being prodded in a way that um, you're unaccustomed to or that is, uh, you're trying to work out how to, how to navigate that, whether to allow it, how you're going to allow it, if so. 
So you could feel the desire to take some time for yourself and get perspective on this. If so, you're really craving it, but you're perhaps worried that the other person is going to perceive that as you ghosting them or you taking your energy away from them when they really need closeness. If that's the case, I think opening up a little bit and telling them why and sharing, may, if this is your story, sharing some of the stuff we've been talking about here could um, bridge that gap of understanding of why you would need some time. It would make them potentially a lot more at ease with the concept of that. Show me how this all resolves. Okay, this resolves with Queen of Wands energy. Um, feeling very alive. <clears throat> yes, definitely. They got me in the throat chakra when I'm saying that. Very alive. Um, very vibrant. Very fully ignited. Steamy. Yeah, okay. Steamy fits with... <laughs> With Scorpio because if you if you like add water to fire you get steam yeah this feels like a very like steamy passionate energy but it's the confidence that I'm getting more than anything the this the certainty of what you want that you're gonna get it so this could be this resolves with you seeing your person in that way. Like, whatever it takes, your fire is going to be healthy for me. Yes, bring it on. I invite that fire into my life. It's a, it's a magnet that I can't look away from and you're pulling me in and I want to submit to that magnet. I want to allow that force to take hold of me, sort of a submission. Or this is you like stepping up and saying like, yes, this challenge, this like Empress energy, I'm going to rise up into that. I'm going to embody the highest um, version of myself that I'm capable of at this moment in my life. And I'm going to live that. I'm going to live my fiery nature. Like the, and when I say fiery, it's like your, your passion, your desire, your, sexuality you're just exuding like this confidence and it's yeah the certainty that that you deserve that sort of attention and energy so yeah if that's you or if that's your person either way very strong and magnetic and what feels like positive energy at least i think you're gonna experience this as positive subjectively speaking Show me advice for Scorpio. How can we work with these energies for our highest and greatest good? The Four of Cups and the Two of Wands reversed. Don't let a change of plans throw you off. It's okay to have a plan and then scrap it and, and come up with a new plan. If something has you feeling meh, just kind of ho-hum, like, like, oh yeah, sure, we could do that plan. We could go on that trip or we could, we could choose that path in life. But if I'm being honest, it just doesn't really, it doesn't really light me up inside. I'm feeling four of cups energy is that, that feeling of, oh, sure. Maybe, I guess, if you really want to. The advice is, whatever you're feeling that way about, you need to look at the way the plan is constructed. Because I don't think it's the... I don't think it's the end of that road that you're averse to. I think it's the structure of the, the path itself, the way the the itinerary or the plan or the schedule of events is lining up. 
So the advice is whatever you're feeling ho-hum about, whatever you're kind of meh about, look at the plan, rethink it, replan it. Don't be afraid to assert your voice into the situation and say, you know what, there, I want to take a look, another look at this plan. Let's, let's change it so that it works better, that it feels better, because then I'll be much more apt and able to give more fully of myself to it. Scorpio, I hope that helped. Thank you for letting me read for you. Thank you so much to the subscribers that have stuck around with my channel for the last year since I've been on hiatus. I appreciate you guys so much. There are some upcoming changes to the channel and I've detailed those in the description box below. But the biggest one is that I'm no longer going to be doing daily readings here on YouTube. I'm going to do weeklies and monthlies here. And the schedule is there in the description box. Um, I'm going to take daily readings over to TikTok. So if you're on that platform or if you'd like to follow me over there, if you enjoyed those daily readings, I will still be doing them kind of in a shorter format on a different platform. Um, and I have not started doing that yet. I will announce it here on this channel when I start doing that so you'll know. Um, all right, so take care, have a great month, and I'll see you back next week. Bye.